Hello, my name's Joe Morton, and I'm starting a segment called Positive N. I encourage people regularly, feed your mind with positivity. Feed it every day, not once a week, not once a month, not once a quarter or once a year, every day. Like the great Zig Ziglar said, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Thank you, Zig. Good suggestion. So let's start daily positive in. I call positive in because my father used to say to us all the time growing up, negative in, negative out. He'd actually say garbage in, well garbage will come out. But if we put positive in, positive will come out. It's brilliant. Such a simple thing. Then why don't more people do it? It's amazing. Our minds do truly, are, we do truly go in the direction of our dominant thoughts. And this is something that many, many great people will agree upon. You know, Earl Nightingale actually says, uh, the leaders from all around the world may disagree on many different things, but they seem to all be in agreement with one thing. Think about this. Ralph Waldo Emerson says, a man is what he thinks about all day long. William James says, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. James Allen says, men and women believe that thought can be kept secret, but it cannot. It rapidly crystallizes into habit and habit solidifies into circumstance. Buddha says this, the mind is everything. What we think, what you think you become. And in the Bible we read, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So many people believe this. So why aren't we doing this more regularly? How have we as people just gotten away from this? I believe we tend to feed ourselves with too much negativity. There's so much negativity out there. Don't tap into it. Be careful. What do you mean, Joe? There's not that much negativity. Watch the news. What do many, many people do? They wake up in the morning and the first thing they do, go get themselves uh, the paper on the front porch or turn on the the television and watch the news or maybe go online and watch the news. This is what you get. I happen to pull up right now. Now it's going to change because it's online news so it could change as the day goes on. Every day it's going to be different. But this is what happens to be on a major news station right now online. The main point that, that, I, that I came across is something about Veterans Administration struggles to repair damage caused by shoddy handling of health care. And I mean it's, it's just, it's got a negative slant. We're going to read this and, 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 and feel negativity about this. Um, something about, let's see here. Um, okay, GM, do GM executives belong in jail? That's certainly not positive. Something about President Obama um, handling a particular issue wrong. Uh, the Clinton camp tells New York Times to back off, obviously, some... Um, something about Monica Lewinsky, oh my goodness, I mean, this is, this is like, what, 20 years ago or so, or pretty close to, and here we are rehashing that particular story. Something about Mayor Giuliani, White House, horribly handled a particular deal. Something about prisoner swap fracas continues. Here's an interesting one. Do sexy clothes impede learning? Wow! I mean, where are you? Okay, so... Anyways, there is one positive thing, which was nice. Something about a soldier surprises his daughter at the graduation. We love those. Those are wonderful. So that's good. But we got to really, that's why going to these small little ones in here. Be careful is what I'm saying. Learn how to feed our minds with positivity. How can we do this? I'm going to talk about two things today. Two things to start your day. Instead of this, I'm not saying don't read and watch the news. I'm just saying be cautious. Be cautious. Our mind is a precious a precious thing, a precious gift that we have. Be cautious what we put into it on a daily basis, especially how we start our day. Here's number one that we can do differently. Gratitude. Start our day off with gratitude. Start listing what you are grateful for. What, what, what miracles you experience on a daily basis. I, I'm reading a book by um, Deepak Chopra and he starts off with talking about how the human, mo human body is an absolute miracle from the breath that we breathe to how, how, how our breathing takes place to our sleeping patterns to our eating patterns to how our body processes everything, touch, uh, sound, sight, taste, 
You, my friend, are a miracle. We're all a miracle. List that which you're grateful for. Start your day off. It's going to be hard to keep up with it. It's amazing what we experience in this remarkable miracle, this world that we live in. Be grateful, number one. Number two, I'm going to talk a lot about different books and authors and audios that we can feed our minds with positive um, thoughts and start our day off properly. But I encourage this one book right now. It should be standard issue for everyone. Written in the early 1900s by James Allen called As a Man Thinketh. What an amazing book. It's not one of those books where you read it once, you stick it on your shelf. This is one you can read every single day. I try to glean something from it every day and take notes and, and uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's easy to get on Kindle. It's actually free. Um, I happen to have three different versions. I have a written, several written copies. Um, I have a, uh, a written copy on Kindle here. But I also happen to have an audio version of it that I can just listen to from time to time. I encourage you, get a copy of it. Don't wait, don't hesitate. Do it today, okay? And here's something that I read this morning. Of all the beautiful truths pertaining to the soul which have been restored and brought to light in this age, none is more gladdening or fruitful of divine promise and confidence than this, that man is the master of thought, the molder of character, and the maker and shaper of condition, environment, and destiny. We, my friends, are the maker of our day. We truly have an ability to transform our day, to go in the direction that our thoughts start at the beginning of the day. So practice these two things. Number one, be grateful for the miracle that you are, for the miracle that we experience on a daily basis. Soak it in. This world is amazing. Our lives are amazing. Number two, get a copy of this book, As a Man Thinketh. Again, I'll cover others, but I want you to get a copy of this and start reading from it. You don't have to read it all in one day. Just start reading. Feed your mind with positivity. I'm Joe Morton for this first segment of Positive In. And I wish you a great day. Actually, I don't wish you a great day. I encourage you to make it the day that you want it to be. Thank you.